Hey, this is Simon Cram. Connor Gradzicki. Cole. Griffin Taylor. Jeremiah Pugh, and you're watching Slasher Pepper. Slasher Pepper. Slasher Pepper. Slasher Pepper. Slasher Pepper. I started playing guitar just about three years ago, maybe a little bit more, when I was 13. So I started playing when I was one years old. Uh, it's a true story. I have video proof. I'm in, I'm I'm a baby in my diaper with big ass drumsticks and just playing on my drums and just I just fell in love with it as a kid. Same like Simon, since Simon drummed when he was born. I was singing when I came out of the womb. So probably when I was around 13, um, I started actually playing drums. And uh, my dad played drums when he was a kid, so he got me all into music and stuff. And uh, we were coming home from school one day, and he told me he had a gift or, like, a present for me. And uh, there was a guitar on the couch. So he just surprised me with that. Um, and I didn't even touch it for, like, a year. At first, I played guitar. And, you know, growing up, you know, like, rock band and guitar hero, I played that a lot. And I played drums and rock band and guitar hero. I, I just absolutely loved it and all the music on it. I started playing because that year we had gone to see Metallica in Minneapolis. And I don't know. I liked music. And then I found out I really liked music. And then I played guitar for the first time when I got home on a beat up acoustic with three strings. And I really liked it. And then I asked for a guitar, got one on Christmas, and just kept it going ever since. The way I would go to bed was my dad playing the drums while me sitting on his lap. Like, that's how I would go to bed. What my dad told me is that he would play his uh, acoustic guitar and I'd go and I'd pat on his drums and be like, like, just, ah, 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 on, on the guitar. It was really weird. But then after a year, I was just like, screw it, man. I started listening to more music and stuff and I wanted to try it out. So, uh, yeah, that's how I kind of, I started. And then in, uh, Middle school, there is a guitar class, like a music class. And that's what really got me into playing guitar. And then I played guitar for maybe three or four years around then. And then I got like just a little bit bored of it. So then I switched on to bass and here I am. I walk around the schools, I got my headphones on. I am screaming shit like King 810, Slipknot fucking green day i'm just singing that shit and everyone's like can you shut the fuck up and i'm like why don't you kiss my fucking ass <laughs> you know it's a really fun experience for me because where i come from uh i live on the suburb side i don't really know a lot of musical people i don't know a lot of people that are in bands or even that like metal it's a pretty close-knit tiny little group or scene, I guess you could call it, that is in my area. It's a really, it's it's amazing. We all work together. Uh, no one is singled out. Uh, we all do the same thing. We all have a say in the writing process. We all have a say in all the stuff. The one thing I always say whenever I describe my band is that everyone is a dick. We're all like a family. Um, the way we write is uh, just come and jam, or maybe one of us will get a riff. It's all collective. It's just, it's like the perfect group. Took, awesome. took a while, but we got it. It's a, we work really, really well together. It's great. You know, they're, we're just, it's, it's just, we're all friends, you know? So meeting them was great. And it's just good environment. Usually the writing process works pretty good with all of us trying to pitch in our own ideas. It's pretty smooth. You know, Jeremiah's got the good bass skills and Connor's got the good guitar skills, and so does Cole. And then Griffin, of course, has the good singing skills. We're all equal. No one's better than each other. You know what I mean? We like to keep the ego. We get into fights a lot. Even then, it's just over, like, the smallest thing. But then we just squash it immediately. And that's what I'm really good at is that when I get – when my anger management starts to kick in, which I try to keep it down, uh, and I start to, like – my ADHD fucking, like, clashes with my anger management, and then we just – clash we i mean even outside of band we're always hanging out we're always doing stuff it's like we're a family we all hang out outside of band we all hang out within band we all joke around have fun and everything you know it's we're, we're just all friends so that's the only way i can really explain it and we all get along pretty well
I'm really I really like hardcore. I like Knocked Loose. I like Kublai Khan. Shit like that. I've been listening to Mick Gordon's stuff lately. Knocked Loose. Knocked Loose, for sure. This isn't really a metal band, but uh, it's a middle class rut. Uh, they're an alternative rock band, and people are kind of surprised to hear that. It's my favorite band. They're like, what? <laughs> That's your favorite band, and you're in a metal band. And what, what's, what's going on? And I'm like, well, they're just. I love their writing. I love their songs. They have a lot of good hits. They have a sound that's unique than just alternative rock. Like you hear an alternative rock band and you just think the same thing, but these guys are just different. There's only two guys. They've been friends since they were 12 years old. So they're my favorite guys. They're not as big and they deserve to be way bigger, but they have my support. There's honestly too many to list. King 810, uh, Amanda Palmer, uh, Ani DeFranco, uh, Green Day, fucking Fallout Boy, shit like that. Just so, like, I love so much music. Band wise, I like uh, Pantera, and this is not really metal, but Guns N' Roses, because Slash and Dimebag, those guys kind of inspired me to play. Um, I like Gojira, met those guys a while back, love those guys. Uh, obviously, Slipknot, those guys inspire me, I love those guys. Um, Metallica too, yeah. But just about any, about anything. I like a lot of music. A uh, musician I looked up to, like the first one, you know, was Kurt Cobain from Nirvana. That was because their their songs were so easy to play. That's why I liked it a lot and the energy, you know. And then as it just slowly just started getting heavier and heavier. And I'll be honest, I listen to way too many different bands. I can't name you know specific bands that really got me into metal and everything but you know i just i just listen to l legitimately everything i don't know something about that really gets me going the like the mix of electronic and metal i'm really into that right now kind of like an industrial thing but overall like i like cannibal corpse i like knocked loose stuff like anything in between there gojira of course those guys are amazing i love those guys uh Big fan of Deftones, very big fan. Um, I'll listen to him about like three times a day. I listen to rap, I listen to pop, I listen to country, I listen to metal, I listen to punk, I listen to pop punk, I listen to everything because in my mind, it's all just music. A part of me wants to say I think Hell probably looks like a really cool album cover. Hell? Uh... Not the way everybody thinks it looks like. I think hell is like your worst fear that happens 24-7. I don't believe in, you know, Christianity or anything like that. I'm not a religious person, but I am spiritual. And I, you know, anything could happen. But I do believe in like afterlife stuff, kind of. A lot of gays. I don't know if it's a visual or a physical experience, but I guess it might be like a personal, like, I don't, I have no clue, man. You know, I'm, I'm atheist. I don't really necessarily believe in anything, but I do believe in some kind of afterlife, you know? Um, I feel hell, hell, or, you know, since I did go to church when I was little, it's just endless torture. It's something that you did. That's usually, that's, that's just what I think. I feel like you focus on what hell looks like too much. I, I think it's more about what you feel, you know? Hell's probably just, horrific it's probably like a tiny box just filled with a bunch of fire ants or some shit <laughs> you just have to sit in there deal with it forever i think hell is like imagine your worst fear and putting that over and over again and you can't leave that's what i think it is i think that's what hell is something that you're just stuck doing for the rest of your life or rest of your time being in there the devil is everything sin, and apparently homosexuality is a sin. So yes. I guess I'm fucking going to hell. Welcome to hell. Would you like a meatball for 99 cents? <laughs> First off, I hope this corona stuff is just completely gone. <laughs> That'd be nice. Uh, I don't know. Touring. That's really my... The thing I want to see the most is music out 
touring, going around, seeing the world, seeing what everything runs on. I see myself with them just, I don't know, ruling the world. I'm hoping we will be the best band in the world, selling out albums, uh, selling out stages, headlining, um, just at the top, ready to gain the co- gain the torch from the previous band that's been at the top. You know, Metallica is still the biggest band in the world, and they have the torch, and they're the, still not the second. And those are the two, and we're gonna be bigger than both those bands in our way. You can't be bigger than Metallica. You can't be bigger than Slipknot. You gotta be bigger in your own way. So I'm gonna try. We're going to try to be bigger than, than life itself. I hope that we will be just having fun, just doing what we do best. I don't, the only thing I want to do is just play shows and have fun with music because I don't care. I don't, I don't care what, I don't care about the money as uh, the money would be nice, but I don't care about the money. I don't care about the fame. I don't even care about like, I don't even care about like my body when I do my music. I'm there to do what I do best, which is sing my ass off and have as much fun as I can and bring out that beast inside of me because my anger management can be a fucking bitch. Just touring, playing, having a good time. Uh, release of music, jamming, meeting people around the world, playing. You know, I'm sure a lot of people say that, but it's just that's what we love to do. Dude, just selling out arenas, just selling out places, just big crowds, you know, be a couple albums in. It's pretty much it, really. We don't want to fuck around. We don't want to be a party band. We want to, you know, we want to do it. We want to go. And just continue because that's what we want to do for the rest of our lives is play and just play music.